In this video, we will learn about five very strange facts about the Helium network that you might not have heard of. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel, I can Tech. Fact number one, two hotspots sharing the same name. The name of a hotspot consists of three words and you might think that all hotspots have unique names, but that is not actually true. In fact, there are a bunch of cases where uh, two hotspots are sharing the same name. I am showing you here three examples and uh, most in most cases the two hotspots are from different countries but this one is very interesting. Both the hotspots are in United States and in fact in the same state Texas and both hotspots are from the rack miner. Fact number two, witness from a very very far hotspot. So a hotspot when sends its beacon signal usually receives the witnesses from other hotspots which are in its proximity and that distance is usually within a few kilometers or it can be sometimes a few tens of kilometers but here I am showing you one example where you can see that this hotspot has received the witness from another hotspot which is almost at the other side of the USA and if you look at the uh, receipt of the transaction you can see that the distance is 2806 kilometers. So how is it even possible? Can a signal really travel that far? Actually, no, the signal cannot travel that far. So what has happened in this case? There are two possibilities. Uh, possibility number one is that this hotspot was first actually in this area, but then somebody reasserted its location to this position, but physically didn't move it. That's why even though it received the witness here, since on the map it was asserted here and it showed you that uh, witness map. The other possibility is that this hotspot was originally here but then it was moved to this position but the location was not yet asserted and that's why again you are getting this map. So of course the witness was invalid and there was no earning because of this weird witness. Fact number three, negative distance. You might not have heard about such a thing in reality but in the world of helium network it is possible to have negative distances here i am showing you two examples the first uh, both of them are very different uh, witnessing example and in both cases you can see that the distance is a negative number and both of them are exactly 49.82 meter so this is very weird and the reason for this invalid witness was given to be pentagonal distortion so in the next slide i will explain to you what that is but uh, note that you might not see this with the new Helium Explorer map. I have obtained this result, these negative distances with the legacy Helium Explorer map. Fact number four, presence of pentagons. So you might have already heard about hexagons and even at different resolutions, for example, from eight to resolution four. And uh, resolution eight hexagons are most important for placing hotspots. However, there are actually several pentagons as well. Here I am showing you four examples. Uh, this one is from the east coast of China, on the west coast of Norway, east coast of Argentina and west coast of Australia. So you can see in the center there is a pentagon and the hexagons around it are pretty distorted. So what is the reason? Why do they need pentagons? To keep the mathematics tractable, Helium is using a strategy where the whole world is divided into a bunch of hexagons but it is mathematically impossible to tile the whole world using hexagons only. Uh, as you can see in this picture, if you try to tile a sphere using hexagons only, you cannot, there will be gaps here and you need to use pentagons. Even if you reduce the size of these hexagons like this, you still have to use a few pentagons to completely cover the whole surface. And the reason behind it is that the earth, which can be thought as a sphere, has a curved geometry. Uh, in particular, it has an elliptical geometry, whereas hexagons, which are flat objects, has a flat geometry or Euclidean geometry. And this is the reason behind that you have to use a, a mixture of hexagons and pentagons. Uh, in fact, there are 12 pentagons and I have found these pentagons using the helium.place site. Uh, if you like, just for fun, you can try to find out other pentagons as well. But uh, note that the hint is that uh, all the pentagons are located in the water and not on land. Fact number five, helium hotspots using strange ports. You might have already heard about the fact that you have to forward port number 44158 
to take it out of relay. Even I have a video explaining how to fix the relay status by performing port forwarding. You'll find the link in the description as well as at the top right corner. However, some of the hotspots actually doesn't do not use 44158. Here are two examples. So this is called low ruby well. You can see the port number here is 44161. And another one is oblong grey barbell and port here is 44159. So this happens when the UPnP is turned on. UPnP stands for Universal Plug and Play. And the Helium hotspot somehow figured out a port to talk to the peer-to-peer -peer network. But you cannot control this number. But uh, those are lucky cases where the Helium hotspot uh, succeeded to find out a port. In most cases, it fails to do so. And you should actually port forward 44158. But, but if you are lucky and actually uh, the hotspot has automatically figured it out and it's out of relay, you don't need to worry about the port forwarding. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.